trying to make up for the loss of about 15,000 armored vehicles during the large-scale war in Ukraine, Russia has begun equipping more and more assault teams with inexpensive civilian vehicles. At first these were Chinese-made all-terrain vehicles, that is, golf carts. Then, motorcycles from China and Belarus, the publication writes. Naturally, in their original configurations, these light vehicles are extremely vulnerable to Ukrainian artillery, missiles and drones. When Russian motorized assault groups first deployed in the spring of this year, they were kicked in the teeth, said the Ukrainian 79th Air Assault Brigade, the material says. Therefore, the Russians strengthened the armor of motorcycles. Observers have compared these motorcycles to those featured in the Mad Max series of post-apocalyptic films. The problem, of course, is that motorcycles can't handle a lot of armor without losing mobility. Analysts note. Ukrainian armed forces have disrupted Russian attacks and gained territorial gains in a counterattack in the frontline town of Vovchansk in northeastern Kharkiv region, German Bild news outlet reported. According to an analytical piece published by the newspaper, in recent days, Ukrainian troops have partially driven out Russian troops from the center of Vovchansk city, after its northern part was occupied by Russian troops in mid-May. Only about a quarter of the city's territory is under unambiguous Russian control. A week ago it was almost half. It seems that the Ukrainians have managed to advance there and oust the Russians. Russians are losing ground and are increasingly resorting to destroying the city with the help of MLRS, heavy artillery, and glide bombs, the newspaper reads. According to Bild, although the invaders' advance slowed down in other directions, Russian troops have managed to take about half of the village of Storitsa, west of Vovchansk in Kharkiv. Russia opened up a new front in the war after launching a surprise offensive in Kharkiv region. Since then Russia has ramped up its attacks in the area and made territorial gains in the area. Russia launched a deadly attack on Kharkiv in late May, killing seven people and injuring several others. Russian attacks also targeted Kharkiv city's transport infrastructure and a municipal unit vital for the city's life support systems. Cool,